Nice. Thanks, Greg. Yep. Got a nasty repair today. Let me show you what we're dealing with right now. So this bracket is supposed to be attached right there. But as you can see, they had some folks who, well, weren't real too good with the welder. You know, they left the wire in there for extra support, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut this bastard off, cut this off, and then I have some new brackets that I'm gonna weld on. They're a little narrower because this is what I could get, but they are thicker. This is 3 8 this is half inch. So I think this is gonna work out real well. I also had this cold bent. You know, we did this on a break like you seen a minute ago. So we've got this thing supported up with this old hitch, which should be fine. And then um, we got a piece of metal over there. And then I got a block of wood wedge right there between the frame rails and the dump bed rail. So everything should be good. I'm not too concerned about sticking my head underneath here. Let's start cutting this thing apart. So before I get started, a quick little tip for you guys. I always keep a shitty wore out pair of gloves that don't have holes in it, obviously, because I don't want to burn my fucking hands in the truck for jobs like this. Because you can see this fucking thing is just, it's just nasty, it's greasy, there's grease everywhere. You don't want to be using brand new, fresh gloves on something like this, and then you got to use those gloves on a clean job. We got that off fairly easily. It looks like uh, it's gonna be pretty, pretty smooth sailing. Knock on wood, I probably shouldn't have said that. All right, so we got her off fairly easily. Not the most perfect cut I've ever done. That one came out pretty good. We didn't scarf the frame, so that's cool. Here's a close-up of this side. Kids, more weld does not equal good weld, just so you know. There you go, you can see what they have going on here. So go ahead and we'll blow this fucker off. So you can see how truly nasty that weld was. I don't know what the dude was doing, but he was just just globbing on some fucking MIG wire, hoping it would hold, and well, clearly it didn't. So what we're gonna do now is I got my flap disc out. We're gonna clean all this shit up, all four of these fitments, and then we're gonna prep our plate out, get it ready to weld, and then uh, hopefully get this thing on. So we got this side pretty well prepped out. Everything looks pretty good. The bracket's going inside there, so I'm not really worried about getting this weld all the way gone. I am gonna come back with the wire wheel just to clean this up a little bit. Same down here, just to get any places I nicked it with the torch. But I'm not worried about stuff like this because this is gonna get filled in with weld when I weld it around the outside. Sometimes it's easier to grab a hammer and a chisel when you got a little bit of torch slag left on. Got that prepped down there, got that prepped up there. So now we're gonna go ahead and get our brackets ready to get welded on. So we're gonna go ahead and lay these things out. As you can see, they're the exact same height. So all we need to do is figure out about how far we want this into this, and then we'll center it, and then we'll cut our hole with the torch. Seems about an inch and a quarter. And this one here seems about an inch and a quarter as well. So five inch plate, two and a half inches. Of our hole so I'm gonna do something a little different in order to get my circle I don't have anything that's two and a quarter laying around so I'm gonna do is pop a hole in it stick this welding rod in the center and then get a string and use it to trace the the circle around with the string
perfect that way and perfect that way So that worked pretty good. Um, it doesn't have to be exact because, I mean, I'm, I'm going to blow this thing out with a torch. That's not going to be exact. And um, I'm going to be hammering it onto that fucking pin. So um, whatever way I need to move it, I'll just blow it out a little bit big. I'll adjust it as I get it. And then we'll weld this fucking thing out onto the pin. Not that big of a deal. Not too bad of a hole, pretty good. I'm happy with that. Let's see if it fits. Nice, fucking perfect. All right, I ain't mad at that, that's for sure. So all I've done is mark roughly where my hole goes again. Just using this for the whole size. I'm not using it to, to line it up. I, that's what those markings on the bottom are for. It'll line up my markings on the inside. And this is just gonna give me a really rough circle, but close enough for what the application is to cut out. So the see there saved me a lot of time. Beautiful. Maybe a little trimming on the top there, but works pretty good. This bracket pretty well aligned. I'm gonna go ahead and tack it in place onto the pin, tack it in place onto the body, and then I'm gonna lower and raise the body, um, get all that wood out of the way, just to make sure that nothing's getting bound or fucked up or anything like that. All right, so I made a stupid mistake. I welded this upside down. So I actually just have to cut it away from the frame and then just spin it. I don't know how I did that, but it's not that big of a deal. So we'll do that. We'll nip those two tacks I did on each side and then we'll flip that whole pin and it should be perfectly aligned the way it is.
right, now that I've got it spun and repositioned around, I'm gonna weld the pin out on both sides, and then we're gonna lift this thing up into position, and we're gonna weld it out from the bottom. All right, guys, that's it. I'm done. I'm gonna clean up, get the fuck out of here, get paid. If you like what you saw here today, like, subscribe, share. If you didn't, well, go fuck yourself. I really don't give two shits.